Ecco. Oh, hello there, fella. Today I'm going to show you the best loadouts for beginners to advanced players. All right, let's begin. Before we get into the job, you must know the details of how it works the whole plan. I will show you just to be sure if you don't have any problem with anything. The first loadout that we are going to look at is made of Ace Pilot, Pyromancer, Hunter, and Soldier. The pros of these pack is the great handle of early waves, hiddens, and hordes. But the cons are bad handle of strong enemies such as Molten Titan and Late Waves. This pack of towers is a perfect start if you bought so far the towers needed. Let's talk about the loadout. Soldier, a cheap tower to place at first wave. That can handle great the first 12 waves, but not so effective after wave 22. Hunter, a version of Soldier with bigger range and larger fire rate, can help with fast enemies but nothing else. Pyromancer, great for a large amount of enemies but not good against single target. And Ace Pilot, the single tower that it will help you for later because of his great damage. And we move on to level 35. This time you will get Crook Boss, Militant, Military Base, Pyromancer, and Rocketeer. The pros are great for early to mid game, good unit spawning and good crowd control. And the cons are bad against late wave and high cost upgrades. This time you get better towers to deal with stronger enemies, but the upgrades to max are kinda high. And now about the towers. Crook Boss. A high fire rate and small range tower that it spawns guard units. It works decent for every wave. Militant. A weaker version of minigunner but with better range and damage. Works well as Crook Boss. Military base. Spawns car units which are working as guards. It works very well against all waves, but last upgrade is very expensive. And Rocketeer. A splash damage tower with high range. Huge damage, but because of dead zone and high price, it works good as all three. At the end, I advise you to pick a huge map so you can use Rocketeer and Military Base properly like Marslands and Necropolis. And now we move to level 50. Where will you will equip Turret, Commander, Rocketeer, Soldier, and Farm. Pros. Massive DPS for late wave. Big range for most of the towers and no issues with the economy. And cons, pretty not existing. What it makes so great this loadout are the new advanced towers. And let me explain them. Turret, high fire rate, big damage and massive range. Although it has only 5 place limits, still strong if you get other towers. Commander, it boosts your tower's fire rate and it has an ability which boosts more the fire rate and it deals some damage. And farm, it helps you with cash per wave, increasing the amount on every upgrade. And with this loadout, you can also beat Fallen if you are lucky enough and you choose the big map. Alright, next level. Here you will equip Mini Gunner, Turret, Farm, DJ and Crook Boss. Pros, great against late waves. Good against hiddens and good for single target. Cons, still non-existent. Like the last one, it has the same plan, but now you will meet two more towers. Mini Gunner, good fire rate and range but low damage. It can help you a lot as a late game tower. And DJ Booth increases your tower's range and it decreases the upgrade prices. Same like the last pack, but we move on now to something more special. For now you'll need Ranger, Warden, Commander, Farm, and DJ. Pros, full support on towers. Great early defense and stun effect added. And cons. Lack of hidden defense, bad ground defense, and bad crowd control. You will wonder why there's so many cons, probably? Well, that is because of the towers are defending on, and those are... Warden. Obscure range, but high damage and good fire rate. Also, it can be used as an early tower. And Ranger. Enormous range, but very slow fire rate and very high damage, but it doesn't get hidden detection. And now you see why there's a lack of defense, and even thou, you can still win on Fallen with this loadout. But you can also change the Ranger with Minigunner or the Warden with Soldier, your choice after all. Moving on to the next level. Here you will need to equip Pursuit, Mini Gunner, Cowboy, DJ and Farm. Pros. Massive range for all towers. Good crowd control and great economy start. And cons. Pretty bad early defense and last wave works on RNG. This new loadout works better than the last one I've been talked about, but this one still has some issues. And now about the towers you will need. Cowboy. An early tower which makes money per an amount of hits. It works like a crook boss, but it doesn't spawn units. And Pursuit, high damage, good fire rate and also splash damage, but it doesn't lock on the enemy target and it doesn't get hidden detection. For this loadout, you can try a map such as Abandoned City or Spring Fever. And now let's go to high level loadouts. You will need to bring Accelerator, Mortar, DJ, Commander, and Farm. Pros, great crowd control, great single target control, and good mid-late wave. Cons, bad early defense, 
lack of hidden detection and place limit issues. Not you shouldn't worry for the late game since you got now two of the best towers in the game. And those are Mortar, high range, massive damage, and great splash, but it doesn't get hidden detection and it has a slow fire rate. An Accelerator, great damage, range, and fire rate, but it locks only on one enemy. This duo makes the game much easier, but both towers have small place limit. So I'd advise you to place more towers with no place limit. But if you don't have Accelerator, you can equip Mini Gunner. And now we get in the last category, here. I don't need to explain that much since you've learned all of the towers. The only news for you will be the Engineer and Golden Perks, which I will make another part for them. But now I will give you some examples of the best loadouts. First is Accelerator, Engineer, DJ, Commander and Farm. Second is Golden Mini Gunner, Golden Soldier, DJ, Commander and Farm. And the third, Cowboy, Accelerator, Engineer, DJ and Farm. I think this was all I needed to cover. Now before I end up the video, please take part of our community and hit the like button and subscribe. I really much appreciate. Alright, bye.